Hey everybody, Jeff Butts from Mac Observer here, and today we're going to walk through Focus Mode, which is available on the iPhone, iPad, and your Mac. Now, Focus Mode is basically the old Do Not Disturb setting, but stepped up several levels. With the original Do Not Disturb, you were pretty limited. You could allow your favorite contacts to break through your do not disturb mode repeated calls and that was it all of your other notifications were completely silenced now what you'll see as we walk through focus mode is there's a lot more flexibility to it and even better you can set up different focus mode profiles for different needs so let's take a look now you access focus mode from the settings app. If you just click on settings or tap on settings rather and scroll down, you'll see an icon labeled focus. It has a purple background with a moon. And this takes the place of the old do not disturb settings. When you first look at focus modes, you won't have this many options. You will probably only see do not disturb, personal, work, and possibly sleep. And the great thing is that you can set up each of these independently from one another to have different settings, allow different notifications through, and you can even set it so that it shares across devices. So for example, when I turn on a focus mode on my iPhone, it will automatically set that same focus mode on my Apple Watch, my Mac, and my iPad. It's really handy for making sure that all of your devices are easy for you to turn off distractions on all at once. So let's go ahead and create a new one. We're gonna tap on the blue plus sign in the top right corner of the screen. And my iPhone asks me, what do I wanna focus on? I can choose one of these to get started. Driving, fitness, gaming, mindfulness, or reading. Or I can create a completely custom option. I'm gonna go with mindfulness. So I'll tap on that. And the steps remind me that this allows me to set up notifications from important people and apps and silence the rest of them across all my devices. And I can also set it so that I let people know that I'm away with a status that shows I have notifications silenced. So we'll tap on next and carry on. Now we can configure which allowed people and which calls we want to still receive even when we have this focus mode on. So we'll go through here and I will pick the, the one person that I want to be able to contact me even if I'm meditating. And then look at other people calls from you can set that to everyone, no one, favorites, all contacts, or groups from within your contacts. You can also set this so that a repeated call from the same person within three minutes won't be silenced. I'll be turning that feature off and I will set allow calls from to no one. And then I tap on done and tap allow. Now we look at our apps. Which apps do we want to be able to still give us notifications even when we're in a focus mode? If you tap on add app, you'll get a list of all of the apps on your phone. And I'm not going to select any of them. I'm not gonna allow any of my apps through this focus mode. There's also an option for time sensitive. These are apps that are not in the allowed list, but have particular notifications marked as time sensitive. You can configure your focus mode profile to allow those through no matter what. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna turn off time sensitive and tap on allow none. Now let's say you have the Apple Watch and you use the mindfulness app. You can actually set this to automatically turn on whenever you start a session in that app. And now it says that our focus is ready. And it reminds me that when I turn it on, it's gonna be turned on across all of my devices. 
I can turn the focus mode on and off from the control center, and I can choose which home screens can show up uh, in my focus mode. So let's look at some of those options. If you tap on focus status, you can see that share focus status is on. This is what tells people that you have notifications turned off when they message you. Now, the, the downside to this is that sometimes they can tap on notify anyway, and it goes ahead and pings you. So you may or may not want that turned on, depending on your needs. Home screen. This is a really nice feature. If you're one of those people that notification badges just tend to really get under your skin and you have to clear them, you can turn that off so that while you're in your focus mode, you don't even see them. You can also set custom pages so that particular home screens are all that you see when you're in a focus mode. Now, it's important to note that you can also get to your other screens or your other apps through the app library, even when you've got your screens limited. So you can still get to the apps that you need. It just might take an extra step. All right, so that's good for that one. And now the lock screen. You can set your lock screen to dim while you're in a focus mode. And you can also set the configuration so that your silenced notifications show up on your lock screen when you wake up your phone. I'll go ahead and turn that one on. All right, now looking down further, we've got turn on automatically. Um, mindfulness is turned off. There's also add scheduler automation. You can tell your iPhone that this focus mode should be turned on at certain times of the day, um, when you arrive at a certain location, or when you open a certain app. You can also turn on smart activation, which uses signals like your location, apps that you've been using, and things like that to determine guess when you might need that focus mode turned on. So that covers the introduction to focus mode and creating a new one. In a future video, we'll look at some of the tips and tricks you can do with focus mode, such as controlling your focus mode from the control center, um, setting up automations, and things like that. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Tap the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we have a new video. I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you around.